Hey, what's up? It's online, and today I would like to introduce Mr. James Burns, who stars in many films such as A Darker Reality and Transformers, along with some sci-fi shorts as Chameleon, which, uh, in my opinion, was one twisted ass short. There was no. Uh, Did you see that? Did, have you seen that movie? There was no Uncle Harry, is there? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, man, congratulations on your homework, man. That's awesome research. I oh, love that. No, I've seen that before, and it, I was just really, wow, that was awesome. Yeah, it was, it was a nice little film, right? Yeah, it was It was a little twist at the end. Yeah, it was very unexpected when I got that little script. <laughs> you know, I, I was like, I usually don't do like, like small stuff unless it's a great script. And I spread this, but wow, this is awesome. And I'm glad I did. It's a pretty, pretty cool shoot, actually. Yeah. Uh, you want to get into questions, shall we? That's the way, man. Uh, how's it like getting up early? Stars in, in, in those movies and such, you know. How's it like? How's it like? <laughs> what kind of English is that? How's it? What's it like, man? Uh, what's it like, dude? It's um, I play army for a living, dude. I mean, how much better can that be? Yeah, yeah I know. I play army for a living. I mean, the only better is a professional gamer, to be honest with you, but. Um, I have an awesome job, man. I wake up in the morning every day and bounce out of bed. I can't wait for the day to start. You know, it's going to work is the best part of my week. Yeah, work's work. Uh, were you ever late to any of those uh, shootings? And I make it I make it ritual to be everywhere a half hour before I belong there. If I have a seven thirty call, I'm there at seven o'clock. So you get your, your you get your coffee in the morning. Saying? No, no. It's like look, this is what I love to do. So why would I not want to be there? all the time. So I, I, I go a half hour early, I leave a half hour late. Yeah. And it's, it, this is where I want to be, so why would I not spend time there all that I can? I know, yeah, I I've been on TV shows where I rap at 11, I'll stay at 8 o'clock at night just to hang out with the directors and the producers and get to know people and be on set because this is, this is what you want to do. If you want to do something with your life, you know, surround yourself with people who are already doing it. And that's just a, just, that's kind of a, a tactic I have. It's a pretty good tactic for you to, to have this revolve around your life. I mean, you're starring in movies, and that's just really awesome. Like, if it was me, I, I'd be freaking doing that every day. Yeah, it's, it's the best thing. I, got, I love my job. I'm, I'm really fortunate, dude. Very fortunate. Well, um, as everyone knows, you do voices for... Uh, for Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, is, and it's uh, Sergeant Frank Woods. Um, but was, was that your first video game that you ever did that in? It's the first game and probably the only game I'll ever be in, is the <laughs> Black Ops 1 and 2. Um, you know, Frank is a very iconic character, and I just seem to think that I, it stops and ends with Frank for me. I can't, you know. What if any, uh, any other big time you know, productions ever hit up. It's, i tell you what, it's, I, I'm not a voiceover actor, it's not what I do. Um, the role of Frank Woods is a performance capture role. I don't spend any time at all in the recording booth. I'm most, everything is live action for me. So it's like, it's a real acting job. It's like making a movie. So I don't know if, a lot of these other companies, I don't think they're as dedicated as Treyarch is to making a product I mean, you have no idea how much work Treyarch does to make this game. I mean, and just the whole procedure for performance capture, it's very expensive, but the results are, are undeniable. I mean, it, it just looks better, the acting feels better, because it's, 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 it's integrated, it's, it's one person. You know, it's not, it's not my body, it's someone else's voice, or vice versa. It's, and, you know, for me, to go do a, a I tried, um, I had a, a short gig and another very popular, uh, a game, and I think I lasted one day on it, and because you know they, they did a motion capture segment, then I had to do a facial capture and mimic what I did in the motion capture. It took me 50 takes. I still didn't do it right. I just you know I, I know my limitations, and I'm not a voice actor. I'm just you know I'm, I'm a guy who's created this really cool character. And I just leave it at that, you know. Well, well, me and I guess everyone else who subscribed to your YouTube channel has actually seen that video that you were in the motion capture, and, yeah. and how you got set up. How how are those dots being poked on your face? You know, it's again the outs. You 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 learn to take all your. You know, Woods is about seeing opportunity at every chance. So sitting there, 
for basically about 30 minutes having somebody put those dots on a chance for me to get into character to start thinking about what, what needs to be done. It's a good time to focus, to get centered. Um, so I utilize that time as preparation, you know, and it's, and it's tedious, but you know, I'm not doing it. I'm just sitting there. I'm not doing anything. I just sit there and I got these two really pretty girls working on it. So <laughs> it's easy. You know, that, again, that's not a hard job, my friend. But the, the, the voice. Dishes, that's a hard job. But the Cop. voice comes natural to you, doesn't it? What's that? The voice for uh, Frank. It comes natural to you. Like it, it sounds exactly how you're talking right now. There is, there's no get up for what you're doing, is there? Very little. Yeah, Very, I, I can I see. I may scream a little bit more, Frank. But uh, yeah, what, what you hear is what you get. I mean, Frank and I are pretty much, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're similar in, in way too many ways because there's too many similarities between us. You know? yep. um, when did you start that YouTube channel that you actually have up right now? I know you have two. Well, actually, the, this this channel was set up last November, but I really wasn't thinking about how to you know how to populate it. And then we uh, basically launched uh, last Thursday, last Friday. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of it's doing pretty well. It keeps growing every day, which I think is awesome. Yeah, I see how you're in interacting with the viewers and such. I love you guys, man. I just I love every one of you cats. It's like, you, it's, it, you know, e even the even the, the shitty remarks, which aren't that many, you know. But it's like just fun to interact with people, see how they think about Frank, and see, you know, get the response on things. What's really cool is, uh, well, you, actually, you, this is gonna be a scoop for you. It's gonna be uh, on in the next couple of days. I'm going to E3. I just put that one up there about an hour ago. Yeah, I seen that. Um, but what? What's gonna happen very soon is I'm gonna start doing contests, oh, contest. and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you like uh, uh, you know recon missions cool. kind of or are gonna have you try to find information out, and the, the first ten people get it right, I'm gonna first five people who get it right, I will put I will do a, a personalized ringtone for your phone. That's amazing. Yeah, that'd be fun, right? Yeah, that's very good. That's a good idea. And we may do a we may do a, a, a Frank Woods imitation contest or a, have a, a scene contest where people get together and, and recreate a scene from Black Ops. Yeah. And you, your buddies get together and try to do Kason, the opening Kason. Mm. And the best one, in my opinion, I'll, I'll give you guys some, maybe uh, send you a poster or something fun. You know what I mean? That, yeah. That's coming up soon. We'll and, be doing that pretty soon. And all this is at E3, right? At 8:30. At, at E3. No, no, no. This is uh, this is going to be done over the summer. It's going to be gone. There's going to be a bunch of contests. Oh. E3 is just I'm going to be walking around um, the camera crew and just introducing you to the different like um, there's all these new games coming out. Yeah, you know, Ubisoft's got a great booth. Uh, EA has got a huge booth. It's going to show you what's there because most of you guys can't get into this. It's for industry only. So I'm going to walk around and show you just have you see things like have you look at. Uh, Yes, the stuff that the like the, the the people who go the news reporters won't get down and dirty. You know, oh. I can walk up to cats and get and get shit started. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be more fun. A lot of stuff is very sedate. I, I do these interviews with these guys, and it's gotta be sedate because it's yeah. You know, these are networks. These are highly paid professionals. I mean, I, I'm just a lowly paid knucklehead, so I can do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> and and this is gonna be happening on your channel, right? Yeah, they're on my channel. Oh, that's freaking amazing. Like I, I know that you're gonna keep getting subscribers, and you're gonna get the views that you, you sort out to get, and that's awesome. And um, just when when are you gonna do some more walkthroughs at the Treyarch Studio? I, I know I've seen those videos. Well, it, the thing is, is, I have to work. I have to work out a deal with uh, Activision with their clearance because uh, once I start going inside and talking to the personnel, then inside the building, it that. That video becomes their property, so I have to. It's, it's kind of a legal issue right now, because um, they got to protect themselves, man. Like, there's there's idiots out there who, who would sue them, you know, for for the stupidest shit. And you know, they, Activision's not this evil monster. There's just a, a big business that a lot of people take pot shots at. So they just have to protect themselves because people go after them for the stupidest things. So I got to be careful not to put them in jeopardy. And it's easy. I just you know, I'll, I've already done a few uh, walkthroughs. Yes, um, I've seen I seen about two. What's that? I seen about two on your channel. Yeah, the Christmas ones. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I actually I did a follow up to that this morning because the two guys. Well, I, I did some fun stuff this morning at Treyarch. We're there this morning, and uh, 
I'll probably be doing a lot more of that. I, I got something planned. I, I plan on doing a walk through the whole facility, take you into the bunker, take you into the, the, the animation rooms, introduce you to all the, uh, the players, all the guys. I mean, there's, there's 300 employees there. I did a, I did a tour of the kitchen this morning, which is funny as hell. Yeah. There's stuff. I got stuff coming up, man. Yeah. Be patient. Yeah, like, well, everyone is. Uh, will, will, you, will you be going into that uh, secret room that you didn't go into last time? I think it was uh, where you discuss new stuff and basically, you know, go over Black Ops 2 stuff? Um, I'm actually probably, I'm, I'm going to do a lot more than that. Okay. Once, you know, we're, we're going to do a lot. We're going to do a fully, we're going to do a whole thing. Woods, Tours, Treyarch. It's, it's going to be like a three or four part series. It's going to be a big deal. And it may not happen, and it may have to wait until September or November. I, I don't know. Everything depends on, on the clearance that I get. I know you said that you were like everyone else with the Black Ops stuff, but uh, how was the demo for you? I know it was awesome for me to see it. The demo that that they shown at E3. Which demo, man? Dude, I have seen. Again, you know, I have seen like tons of stuff. I, I I've seen stuff that's coming out next month for you know, as commercials and stuff. So I don't. I don't. What are you talking? Which demo are you talking about? Um, I think it was the first one that I've seen. They were on a highway. And they were going towards. Oh, uh, it's, it's L.A. Yes. Yeah, it, Activision showed two massive levels. The whole level actually they had somebody playing it. So they have like eight or nine theaters. They have one huge uh, you know, surround sound theater and a bunch of small ones. People drive like for where they have like the VIPs and stuff. So I got I stuck into one of those today. Oh, nice. um, it's, like, it, it's a small theater. They, have, they actually have a guy playing it, um, and so you get to see the whole playthrough on it. Uh, the one with the that's L.A. This is called the L.A. level, yeah. and the other one is Singapore. Singapore, yeah. Yeah, and dude, it's like this stuff is. Like, I know it's pretty awesome. Like, man, I'm sitting there, right? And I I've already seen these things, but I haven't seen them in high resolution on really great screens. Yeah. I I'm, but I my my jaw just dropped. I, I just I was I was in awe. It was it's really amazing, awesome. amazing stuff. All right. Well, um. I don't want to get into the other questions where you know you really can't answer, but is there anything about zombies that you can tell us? Anything? Yeah. Um, take what you know about zombies, throw it out. <laughs> They're about to change the face of, of the zombie, and it's for the better. It's um, it's uh, how to explain this? I, I, I talked to Dave about this this morning. Dave Anthony, the guy who runs Treyarch, yep. and they're just they've expanded. The, the 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 playability of zombies. So I can tell you, it's like, it's like take the best things you like about zombies and increase that fourfold. Okay, all the best things about zombies have been not only kept, but they, they've been enhanced. Wow. And so the, and you, you're going to be doing a whole lot more, and there's going to be a whole lot more integration with with uh, online play, and it's going to be integration with yeah. There's a lot of changes that. Again, be excited about zombies because it's going to be zombies is, is is become a very integral part of of, of Black Ops system. So it's like it's not it's not a small thing anymore. It's like it's very integral to the game. All right. Well, I I didn't want to take too much of your time, so I hope you guys liked that interview. It's very short, but. You know, uh, he has things to do, and I have things to do as well. So I want to thank you guys for coming on to this video, and I want to thank you, James, for taking the time and uh, letting me do this interview with you. Hey, man, my pleasure. Hey, happy birthday, brother. Oh, yes, thank you. And my birthday is is right now, so I want to thank you guys for that. Bye. Bye, guys. Take it easy.